Hey, I just realized his initials spell out POP. Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is 2007's Transformers Pepsi Optimus Prime. Now this figure here was a gift to me from two Patriot Prime subscribers, Edward and Stacy. And the story behind this gift is they found out I was going to Big Lick Comic Con last weekend with my son Dylan and they brought this figure to give me at the con. But as luck would have it, they missed me by a half hour. Dylan had been there three hours already and he was ready to go. I left just as Edward and Stacy pretty much showed up. So they reached out to me and asked, one, did I have this figure? And if it was okay to ship it to me? And of course I didn't and I said yes. And I had it in my hands within two days. So Edward and Stacy, once again, thank you so much. This guy looks so cool. I cannot wait to get him out of the packaging. Now let's take a quick look at the packaging. You got Pepsi Optimus Prime in truck mode with a big Pepsi bottle there on the trailer. Some great looking artwork. And if you recall, this is the same style artwork that was on the Classics packaging. So this is reminiscent of them because that was the line that was out in 2007. Top of the box, we got Pepsi Prime in vehicle mode. Side of the box, Pepsi Prime with a Pepsi. This side of the box, Pepsi Prime in robot and truck mode. And the back of the box, Pepsi Prime in robot mode and truck mode once again. Now, this figure here was one of the many giveaways that Pepsi was doing in uh, 2007 to promote the original live action movie. If I can remember correctly, there was the Pepsi Prime figures they were giving away, cash, Xbox 360, and I think hoodies. I looked up online, I couldn't find anything. Of course, the website is long gone. So this was one of the prizes you could win, and Edward and Stacy also included the little note that came with your uh, Pepsi Prime when you won. Dear winner, congratulations. Thank you for participating in the Mountain Dew Transform Your Summer promotion. So apparently Mountain Dew was a big part of this too. That would be awesome to have a Mountain Dew Prime because that's my drink of choice. So anyway, where were we? Ah, enclosed, find the prize you have won on behalf of the Pepsi Cola Company. We appreciate your participation in this promotion. Sincerely, the Sweepstakes Department, Young America Corporation. So that is really cool. So now, without further ado, let's get Pepsi Optimus Prime opened up out of this packaging and see if he truly is the choice of a new generation. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now, once you get Pepsi Optimus Prime all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions. And these, of course, are the old classic style where they're not really illustrated. You just have black and white pictures of the product. Of course, there's transformation of Optimus Prime. And this is all just one sheet. You also can see right here how you can actually use the trailer to hold a real 20 ounce bottle or three cans of Pepsi. You also get a sheet of decals. 
Now, according to the instructions, the decals are only for the forearms, one and two right here. These others are extras, but considering this decal sheet is 15 years old, I'm not going to apply the decals to Prime. You also get the two fists, both a left and right, and these fists are the ones that have the extra added lip to hold the gun, and Prime's ion rifle, and this one is the thicker one with the fatter barrel. And then, of course, you've got Pepsi Prime himself, which looks awesome. This is a great looking figure. Now, the Pepsi right here, this is a cardboard cutout. And if I can remember correctly, I think that was the label back in 2007 for the promotion. Now, first things first, let's look at the trailer because that is the really only brand new thing for this Optimus Prime. Trailer is pretty cool. Like I said, it's designed to hold a 20 ounce bottle or three cans. You got the indentations right there for where the cans go. Underneath the trailer, that's the same structure right there, the black with the arms that is on the other Optimus Prime trailer. This is the this is the 25th anniversary version, but the G1's the same way. So there you go, the same undercarriage, but the top is completely different. It's got these little, not sure if those are spring-loaded or it's just the plastic that can kind of bend in to hold the bottle. Let's see, let me get a real 20 ounce bottle. I don't have a Pepsi, but there's a Mountain Dew and it just slides right in there. Of course, now that they're making them a lot more narrow, it is a little loose, but you see how that works. Alas, I don't have any cans to show off for you guys, so we'll just put the cardboard cutout back in, and there we go. So now, let's take a look at Prime himself. Now, Prime, right out of the box, really impressed me, because what I thought was sticker details is actually paint applications. The Pepsi swoosh there, the blue, that is paint, and it just looks amazing on Prime. He's got the Autobot logo right there and the Pepsi logo on that side. It just looks so cool. And of course, the stripes go all the way around. Paint details back there on the rear of the vehicle. The chrome on the wheels and the gas tank look amazing. You just don't get chrome on figures anymore. Front of the vehicle, more chrome for the grill, the bumper. You got Pepsi right there for the license plate the chrome around the lights. You got translucent plastic there for the windows, kind of has a yellow tint to it, but this thing looks so cool. Not a fan of the smokestacks. I hated how the reissues shortened the smokestacks so much. Compared to G1 Optimus Prime here, see the difference in the smokestacks? I, I just don't get it. Why these smokestacks were a choking hazard, but you can give or have these little fists included. So whatever, it, it's still not bad. I still love the looks of this figure. And I really like the color blue that they use. I mean, here's the G1 compared to the Pepsi. I guess that's Pepsi blue. So now let's go ahead and get Prime transformed. You know how to transform Optimus Prime, G1 Optimus Prime by now. Bring the legs down, fold the feet out. Then you're going to extend the arms. Now this one, my right arm sticks a little bit, but pop that out, swing that around. Same here on the other side. Come on now. I don't know why that sticks so much. Don't want to force it. There we go. Flip the head up. And now we take the fists and you just peg those into the holes right there. That was the lights. And then give Optimus Prime his Ion Blaster. And there you have Pepsi Prime in robot mode. And robot mode looks fantastic. Those collars work so well on robot mode also. I just love the red, white, and blue. He's just very Patriot Prime looking, if you will. Up here on the head, he's got the Pepsi logos there on the antennas. He's got his chrome crest piece. Silver mouth, yellow eyes, 
The legs have new Pepsi details right there on the knees. Silver right there for the shins. And, of course, you saw the Pepsi swoosh on the toes in vehicle mode. I love the looks of this guy. He is so cool. Now, I'm really debating on if I do want to add the blue on the forearms. But he does have the blue right there on the sides. I don't know. These, these just may not stick. I might leave that alone. But this guy looks so good. Now, let's bring in... G1 Optimus Prime for comparisons. And yeah, they just, they look really good together and they're going to look awesome on the shelf side by side. Now I do want to show off the fists here and the blasters. For those of you who aren't familiar, familiar with the differences with Prime's blaster and fists, let's do it this way. So you've got Pepsi Prime with the extension for the handle and the big thick gun. And then you have G1 Prime with the regular fist holes there and he has the more narrow gun so just a little prime knowledge for you so there you go guys transformers pepsi optimus prime and now for some quick size comparisons here is transformers pepsi optimus prime with generation one optimus prime the 25th anniversary reissue generation one optimus prime Notice the shortened smokestacks on him as well. Earthrise Optimus Prime. And Studio Series 38 Bumblebee Movie Optimus Prime. Transformers Pepsi Optimus Prime is a great Optimus Prime figure. I absolutely love the color scheme on this guy, especially the fact that they are paint applications. Now, something I forgot to show with the trailer here. These are stickers, and it kind of bugs me a little bit that they're not put on perfectly straight. That's the Toy Hacks guy in me, but all in all, not too shabby. I think this one right here is the worst. I also forgot to show that these flip out, too, for support. I was too excited to get to Optimus Prime. I forgot to show off everything on the trailer. And another cool thing, if you transform Prime back into vehicle mode... There is actually storage for his fists and blaster. Just take the trailer here and the blaster right there. You have these larger holes on either side. Just peg in the blaster right there. And then on the back of the vehicle, you got these smaller holes. These are where you put the fists. So attach the fist right there. So there you go. I do like that. Very reminiscent of all the Earthrise figures now, where you got the little pegs to attach the weapons. So that's a great way that you can display your Pepsi Prime on the shelf without fear of losing the accessories. So there you go, guys. Transformers Pepsi Optimus Prime. So, does a Transformers Pepsi Optimus Prime belong in your collection? Well, if you're an Optimus Prime fan, absolutely. I friggin' love this guy. He looks so good. Now, I've seen pictures of Pepsi Prime on the internet many times, but I never would have imagined that his new detailing was paint applications. I always thought it was decals, so that really kicks this figure up a notch in my book. Not to mention, he's a G1 Optimus Prime. He's a Pepsi Prime, and I'm a Pepsi drinker. Well, Mountain Dew, same company, and I love the Americana collar scheme on the guy. I couldn't be happier. So yeah, you see this figure out and available, pick him up. You are not going to be disappointed. And once again, I got to give a huge shout out to Edward and Stacy for giving me this guy. I am absolutely humbled and blessed to have such great supporters. Thank you so much. I love this figure. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I want to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's your support that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime signing out. Hello!